The historic and eventful year 2016 has just ended with the hopes to have a bright and wonderful year 2017. With the key decision of demonetization in the year 2016, everyone looks up to the government for the incentives that the government may announce for promoting digital economy. The Union Budget 2017-18 is going to be even more special in a way that for the first time it is going to be announced in the first week of February as against the last week of February. For corporates, the Finance Act 2016 has announced to bring down the rates from 30% to 25% gradually, considering the incentives and exemptions being enjoyed by the corporate taxpayers. However, the steps taken in this regard in the last budget were not appreciated much by the corporate houses because the reduction in rate was not in line with the industry expectations because it was specific to certain kind of uh, com companies wherein certain threshold limits were provided. So the expectations would now be from this budget to have some tangible benefits in terms of reduction of tax rates for the corporates. There is a lot of ambiguity surrounding the concept of place of effective management. That is what we call in short POEM. Specifically in the absence of uh, the guidelines governing POEM concept, uh, because there is a lot of ambiguity, everybody would want from the government to defer it for the time being. In order to promote non-adversarial tax regime, the government should relook into the provisions for uh, reopening the close assessments and revision thereof. Uh, at present, the, there are certain discretionary powers which are being exercised by the lower level tax authorities. So those are to be closely monitored by the higher up authorities so that there is no harassment to the taxpayers in terms of reopening of close assessments on one ground or the other. In this background, the government may consider deferral of GAR guidelines also because it will further create the litigation environment. Thank you.